isn't actually the place. Oh. Especially how this is all playing out this morning. Oh, sorry, I've got to. <laughs> 12 murder. Mobile newsroom, Maryland Deutsch. Good day, Oregon. Well, Curtis, are you ready for some decept? Sport is next as a blinding sprint car and it competes. There we go, across the Tasman. There you go. <laughs> there it is. I do look for that. Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. Thank Just you. wait until April. No more sneezes. Um. Perfect conditions for drying the lot. The oh, blah, blah, blah. Drying the loshing, whatever that is. <laughs> After the next couple days, Thursday, a high of 79, 70s Friday, Saturday. We've got a couple nights down into the 50s early Friday and Saturday morning. Voy a estar por allá haciendo algunas, algún evento. Ahí va a tener frío. Y sí, me tengo que ir así como estoy, afónica. Imagínate tú. Well, good afternoon. I'm Tara Taylor. Uh, I'm Johnny Wood. Tara Taylor has another day off, and I've been up way too long this morning. A full look at your forecast is up ahead. Davis, or uh, Mary, rather, thank you. <laughs> Davis! I'm sorry, Mary. Come on. Also I know tonight. we look alike, but. <laughs> Temperatures gonna be in the. Thank <laughs> you. Oh no. All right, we'll keep going. <laughs> 39. I should probably step off the camera. But I told you we were gonna have some fun, didn't I? Check this out. Yeah, you wanna have fun? You call Morgan's me. Morgan's version of fun. Look at one o'clock <laughs> in the morning. Here we go. <laughs> We've got upper 20s. Sun's starting to come up. Sunrise not until after 7. Well, it's after 7 right now, so that sun <laughs> is up right now. I'm already into Surprise! the day. I'm already into the daylight saving mode. I'm already getting my extra hour of sleep here. And Ryan's here with the check in the forecast. Good morning. I am. Oh, I didn't realize I was. I thought we were. Sorry. Okay, we'll talk about the seven day there. Okay, seven day forecast. We're starting off the day in the low 50s throughout the area. Next, we're going to take you. Um, we're going to go to Steve's Steve. for the weather. Oh, sorry yeah, about we that. Got a storm yeah. coming there. Hey, can't forget <laughs> yeah. me over here. Okay, yeah. come on, it's over here raining. <laughs> See, I'm thinking, hey, maybe we don't do weather tonight. I don't know. Cold enough for snow, and that will happen by the time we get into la, the la, weekend. La, 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 we're looking for. There you go. Every time I say snow, Megan should just uh, sing. <laughs> Could you guys hear that at home as well? All right, so cold enough for snow. A Stanford wide receiver making a jaw dropping catch that you're about to see. And we're not going to show it to you actually right now. How's that for a tease, huh? <laughs> and if you haven't done your shopping by the big day just yet, Walmart says that you can feed up to 10 people Thursday for less than $35. No. Really? I'm skeptical, but I'll read what it says. So our producers, <laughs> <laughs> I read it and I, I confirm too. Do you like a pretty girly smell? Yeah. Okay, this is the pomegranate. After I pet a camel, yeah, I want to smell a little girly. But you know what? Their saliva is good for you. That's what I say. Really? So, yeah. So does it help keep you young? Yes, it does. All right. I'm 85. Lick me, baby. <laughs> okay, that was so inappropriate for morning TV, but that's okay. You're new. One turkey that is not going to be given away. Well, that is not going to be Paul. Paul's going to be right I guess here. That's me. But the governor is going to pardon a turkey at the executive mansion, and that's going to be this afternoon in Raleigh. And let's go to Paul now for a check on our forecast. You Paul, did that on purpose. Is the turkey going to get wet? Is you, it raining? You definitely <laughs> did that on purpose. Ah, you're waking up to a blast of oh, <laughs> Brandon in the Ozarks. Wow, All right, that then. was interesting. Wonder if that was Lisa. If you did that on purpose. Thank you, no, Lisa. I, that was great. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and do the weather. It's cold out there this morning, and uh, the wind chill. That's <laughs> what I get for dancing off camera, and then it becomes on camera. A recent study shows that women who sleep with their dogs actually get a better night's rest. What about dudes? What, I don't, since women. Oh, about me. I'm oh, I was like with dudes. I'm like, maybe that too. <laughs> no, I meant like dudes with their dogs. <laughs> I was like, where's this oh, going south at 617? No, no, no. I'm like <laughs> guys with their dogs All in right. the bed. Well, good. Well, researchers on women who oh, share boy. their beds with their dogs. <laughs> Oh, here we are. ABC7 <laughs> is keeping a close eye on the top headlines from around the world this morning. How close of an eye are you keeping? You know, it's 6.42 <laughs> in the morning. The coffee's gone. We've been here since... No, since 2.30 this yeah, morning. Okay, anchor Emily Burris is going to rescue us. She's in the studio. She <laughs> has been keeping a very close eye on yeah, Emily. Yeah, that discrepancy. <laughs> oh, Greg, Greg, I'm so glad I don't have a really hard story to talk about here. All right. We're crawling along in Los Angeles right now. In every corner of the nation, 
And here at home, you can see through Sky 13, the travelers spent the day on the move. Everything's moving. Yes. <laughs> we, are Hello less, again. we are less than an hour away from the kickoff to a very busy holiday weekend. Let's begin tonight with Will Stafford. He's tracking the latest weather conditions as you make your plans for Thanksgiving. Will. I'll tell you what, that 